عمايام اهلا 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 Okay, is everyone ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. So just a brief little introduction to the bootcamp, to the audience, to, to the people who don't know much about the bootcamp. Uh, most of the students in this bootcamp uh, had no background in programming before they started the bootcamp at all. And after two weeks of learning the foundations of programming, and then almost eight weeks of, of learning and practicing their skills in web and mobile app development, and then two large team projects where they learned to cooperate in teams of three or four, they're now junior level professional developers. So let's see what these developers have built. Uh, a quick note though, uh, before we start the demos is that the admission for the next cohort is open. So if anybody's interested to sign up to the next full stack bootcamp, go to the official website, joincoded.com and check it out. Okay. Now let's let the first team uh, present, Cal and Dar. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Yes, we're ready. All we're right, ready. I'll stop sharing so that you can jump in, introduce yourselves and show us what you built. Well, hello everyone. We're Team Calendar. My name is Salwa Baqar. And my name is Mohammed Hassan. Khalid Al Mansour. And of course, uh, our colleague Hiba. So, what is Calendar? Calendar is a scheduling app with a social twist. Before we talk about the application, let us first focus on the problem that we try to solve. I want you to imagine a very well-organized person. This person likes to schedule his daily event in a calendar or an agenda. And of course, he would like to share his schedule with his, with his friend. So, if he want to share his schedule with his friends, he either have to call them to share his schedule or to send them a text message, right? But this process is really frustrated. 
why can't I share my schedule with my friend in a very nice or easy way? So people have many applications to schedule their events, but there is no such a nice and easy way to schedule, uh, oh, sorry, to share their events. So what did we do, Heba? So you've all heard about our problem from my partner, Selwa. Let me now tell you about our solution. Schedule events. Sorry, we wanted to design an app that makes it easy to schedule events with new fancy features that you can't find in any other scheduling app, such as tagging, labeling, and adding pictures. And we wanted our application to be transparent and social. In transparent, we mean everyone can see my public events. And in social, we mean sharing events with other people. This is our solution, and now I'm going to pass it to my partner, Khaled, so that he will show you a demo of our app. How do I exit? Um, you can just uh, share screen again and then choose the other screen that has the demo. All right, yeah. one sec. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, the app itself. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to go to profile. All right, so this is my username, my image, my bio, how many friends I have. And we can see here that we have a calendar. If we bring this knob down, we can view this calendar throughout the different months. Uh, let's choose today. So today I have uh, a scheduled event called flower picking. And um, how about I create uh, or schedule an event for Friday? So we go here, we can schedule an event. We can choose whether it's private or public. We can tag somebody. Um, how about Chandler? Um, we're going to uh, chill by the waterfall. We can choose from a variety of different labels, work, technology, therapy, meditation. I think chilling by waterfall seems close to meditation. Um, Friday's on the 22nd, and I am going to choose the waterfall image. And if we go on the 22nd, voila, chilling by the waterfall. As we can see here, uh, this is the image that we have for our scheduled event, the title, uh, the label, meditation, and who I've tagged uh, the scheduled event with, which is Chandler. Uh, moving on, we're going to go to explore. So the Explore tab, we can look up uh, different people who aren't necessarily in our social circles. And we, look at, we can look at the scheduled events they have uh, for, uh, throughout the year. Whether it's today or next month, uh, we can do so. And we can search for uh, a specific user uh, that we want. Uh, we can go on Monica. There she is. And we can see uh, Monica, her bio, she loves to clean. She has one friend and she has an event on the 21st and we can decide to uh, add her if we'd like. And there's a uh, little tab over here where we can choose to block people if we'd like to. We don't want to, we like Monica. We'll go back.
And similarly, we can look them up here if we'd like. To timeline, we can see a list of people that we've already added. Um, uh, we can look up here, waterfall chilling. And this is uh, me with Joey uh, chilling by the waterfall um, really nicely. And the last tab where the activity, we can see if somebody uh, has requested to add me and if someone tagged me in an event. Moving on, we'll move to the technical uh, achievements with uh, Mohammed Hassan. For the technical aspects of our calendar application, there are two main pillars, as you can see on the screen. On the left is the calendar feature we use. This was used for assigning dates to events in the schedule and the fence system, which is on the right, for the social aspect of our app. The calendar was designed using a library called React Native Calendars, and both Selwa and Khaled were in charge of integrating it with our features. It offered us a very smooth design for rendering the user's schedule and provided a very nice user-friendly UX. The main use of this with our, with our project was the filtering of events based on date selection by the user. And the problem was uh, overcome by using pre-built functions from the library, as well as learning how these specific functions can uh, be used in our project. The second main feature was our friend network. And this was heavily inspired by the way Facebook handles it, where a user would send a request and await an action from the other end. This feature was a challenge due to no availability of a pre-built library that is compatible with our project. And therefore, we have to, uh, Hiba and I had to design everything from scratch. Uh, there were challenges uh, on the way for doing this. And uh, these were finding the sequence of logic events that we have to consider, as well as the so thought process of a user's perspective. This was easily solved by using a set of SQLized commands, as well as putting ourselves in the user's shoes and uh, knowing each uh, specific uh, feature and what uh, specific steps are, ne are needed to be taken. I will give it over for Hiba to speak about our future plans with our project. Hello again. So let me now tell you about our fancy future plans. The first future bl plan is adding a like and comment feature so that the user, uh, so the first future plan is adding a like and comment fe feature so that the users can interact with people's events. This will boost the interactive and social side of our application. Second, we would like to add location. Basically, you can add and share location to your events, but the fancy thing about location is that it sends a notification once arrived to the user to remind him or her to add photos and tag people. Third, we thought about adding a group feature. A user can create a group and send invitations to other users. The user who joins can see all the listed events of that group. Examples are friends who want to share their gatherings, workers who want to share their meetings, or coded students who want to schedule their times for group programming. Fourth feature um, is send email to notify users that have been tagged in an event. This is a very cool feature for professionals that are going to use our app. How is it cool? By using our application, the user can add an event tag people and automatically an email will be sent to all the tagged persons with all the event details to, to notify them in a professional way. Our fifth future plan is weekly statistics. This means event allocation based off labels per week or per month. This is so smart for users that want to know on what did they spend their time. And this takes us to our last future plan, which is algorithm that suggests for the user certain events based on the records and statistics to fill in an empty slot. This will make the app more tailored to the user and will be an excellent feature for users who want to interact with the app personally and not socially. So those were our future plans that we've thought of. And this was our demo presentation, and we are now ready to answer your questions. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys can ask also on YouTube if you want.
if, if anyone has a question, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. It's okay. يعطيكم العافية مجهود جبار ما شاء الله ين اللي project thank you thank you yeah nice work nice work والله well, uh, this is amazing and I, and I love the vision that you guys have for the project I have one small question to ask though um, uh, besides your technical achievements what would you say is is the most valuable thing you learn out of this project سلوى uh, I think uh, integrating the, the calendar into the, uh, to the into the app it was really hard. Uh, it was really amazing, but really hard, really hard. Hamid, <laughs> um, you want to jump for, ahead? For me, I think the most valuable thing I've learned because this was the first project where I've worked in a group instead of just a pair programming together. So, like having the appreciation of other people's ideas on tackling issues. And like listening to each other and having our uh, like uh, solutions, and then basically voting and choosing what we seemed to fit. I think that was really fun, and gave me a broader view of how other people tackle problems instead of just my way of tackling them. I think the biggest challenge from a technical side, from developers' side, is uh, integrating libraries uh, as well as already. Uh, uh, established uh, skills that we learned in the beginning of the bootcamp. Uh, from a non-developer side is uh, what Mohammed touched on is uh, uh, listening to other people in the group and their different ideas, being inspired by their different ideas, keeping an open mind uh, from where they come from when they share those ideas. And in the end, uh, uh, choosing the best uh, one that uh, makes sense uh, for our project. Um, that's... My partners, I think uh, GitHub was was amazing with the branches and all of the amazing features. Okay, well, thank you very much. It's been kind of a tradition where I ask this question to every team in the capstone demos, and I loved how wholesome your answer was. <laughs> um, uh, for us, do we have any questions from YouTube? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, thank you for your team uh, calendar. Amazing job. Uh, very proud of you. Thank you for having us. Okay, next team is going to present. It's called Reuse. Are you guys ready? اسماء ساره ما ادري موجودين um, they're here but i think they're muted yeah. i think اسماء is trying to share her screen now Uh, Asma, you're still uh, muted, by the way. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Can you see my screen? Yeah. I can't find my screen. Okay, assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. I am Asma Lutebi, teaching assistant at Kuwait University Computer Science. Well, have you ever wanted to get rid of a sofa or a kitchen table or old clothes or books? And it's good, it's in a good condition, but for any reason you want to get rid of it. It can be reused, but at the end, you will throw it. You might think that to donate it for charity committees, but unfortunately, they don't take everything. They take specific items, 
transportation cost, they don't have stores, so at the end, you will throw it. My team and I have turned a wonderful idea into a useful app, it's called Reuse. So long as the item is in a good condition, Reuse connects you to others nationwide that will be more than happy to take your item off your hands. Well, Reuse provide a platform for you to interact with others, to offer your items, and for others to search for it. And also it opens the door for people who would love to help, who would love to uh, offer a free delivery services. If you have a pickup or a truck and you can help others, why not? Reuse can be used nationwide, free of charge, all for free. And we think uh, if we use this application, we will incentivize social sustainability. And one more thing, we will get benefit. How many tons of waste do we generate? Do you know? More than 2 million tons. So, we are aiming to reduce our collective carbon footprint by reducing the amount of waste coming from our society. It's time now for a demo and the mic is yours. My colleague, Abdullah, will continue. Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> Bismillah. Uh, this is our apps. Okay. The this is the home page of the app. Uh, you can see the new eyes, new arrivals, and um, a list of category, flat list category. Okay. <clears throat> so we have in this app we have uh, three kind of users: the one who get, and the one who give, and the one who deliver. So now. For now, I will sign as uh, Amel, uh, who, who wants to give, okay? All right. So she, uh, as soon as she signs, she will have an, a button in the bottom uh, she, uh, that has uh, an, an add icon. So she can add an item, okay? She can choose an image and uh, choose a, um, a category, a name for that product or an item uh, description, and she can add uh, an address. This address will be specif uh, specified for the item. Okay, so she can add an item with an ad, I mean, an address for each item. Okay, this is our category list. Okay. And uh, we can find uh, whatever you want. You can request. This is this is Amel's product, so she can edit it. She can delete it. And if Amel wants to request an item, she can go to this this one. She can request it. And if she need, if, uh, when she requested, she has two options. Uh, if she want to deliver uh, to pick it up or if she want to uh, if she needs a delivery okay if she needs a delivery she can submit it and she will get uh, a notification or a, or a summary that has the owner uh, name and a phone uh, for the owner to call and uh, a, a QR code this QR code will be scanned either uh, from the uh, driver or from the owner. This code, uh, the, uh, the work of this code is as soon as it's scanned, the item will be marked as gone. So it will not be appear in the, in the list. Uh, it will not be like uh, no one can see it. So it is like 
automatically be gone from the list. Share okay. The QR. Yeah, and also we can share the QR. Th thanks, Asma. Okay. Uh, for the simul uh, simulator, I can't uh, scan and I can't call, uh, but from the phone, we can do this. Okay. Uh, we have this side menu. Okay. I can see my items, the one I uh, post. I can see uh, my orders or the one I requested. Okay. And uh, this one, like if I uh, forget to save the QR code or something, as soon as I put it, uh, sorry, as soon as I press on it, I can see the QR code again. Okay, also I can uh, switch to delivery mode, okay? And this delivery mode, I can see uh, in the home page, I can see how many items that I delivered, how many items that are bending that, that I asked to deliver it, but I still didn't get it or didn't, didn't mark it gone yet. Okay, and this box in the bottom uh, will be uh, will show all the items that I asked to uh, to deliver it. Okay, and in this screen, I can see all the items that I can deliver. For example, if I press on this one, I can see it in this uh, screen uh, as an item that in my list for delivery, okay? Also for the driver, he can press on the image, he can see a, a summary uh, request. In this summary, it will be like slide, slightly different uh, from the other summary request. Uh, this will show the owner and the recipient name. Also when he pre press on this uh, call item or, fo or phone item, he will get the owner uh, phone number and the recipient phone number. So he can contact between them, contact them, I mean. Okay, and uh, hopefully this is all, yeah. this is the profile page. Uh, I can edit it, okay. I can see uh, all the address list that I have. I can add a new one, okay. You can pick a city. Yeah. Baker City and uh, almost like everything here. Yeah. And that's it. Thank you. Wow, nice work. Nice work. Amazing. I mean, no, for Sarah, sorry. <laughs> sorry? I will take the, this part now. Thank you. Right. Um, Okay, sorry about about. Okay. Okay, so some of the technology that we used uh, in our app are the QR generator and scanner. Uh, as you've seen, the QR generator and scanner are the links between the giver, the person that is listing the items, and the receiver, and for the delivery person. So at each handoff point, uh, we will have a QR scanner to make sure that the item is uh, belongs to um, the owner and the receiver and the delivery person and no item will be lost during the handoff process. Uh, as for the call feature, um, this was mainly done for convenience. We didn't want to integrate a new app or integrate another uh, step for the users. So um, just adding a small button, um, I think will simplify the process for the users. Additionally, we, we added flash messages. Uh, these indicate whether the request was successful, whether an address uh, has changed, or any other features um, that are necessary for the completion of, um, of the item. Uh, additionally, we worked extensively on user interface. Um, 
we worked on the sides menu and the nav bar. So again, for the ease of use of the user, uh, we worked on the uh, nav bar, which is um, below uh, be uh, at the uh, bottom of the screen, uh, just to make it easier when uh, you scroll uh, by using your thumbs. And we also used the sidebar uh, to switch between being a delivery person, uh, seeing the categories, etc. cetera. Uh, another extremely uh, beneficial um, thing that we used was uh, hook forms. So hook forms are basically um, for everything that the user inputs, all of the data that the user inputs. We have the name, we have the item description, we have the addresses, but once users actually put all of this information, the app gets really heavy. So by using hook forms, it decreases the, uh, the data storage and uh, increases the speed. So um, the app is very lightweight. Um, the user won't get a lot of lag time. And um, overall, it just increases the um, user experience of the app. Uh, the third thing, uh, I think that this was the most challenging or one of the most challenging aspects of, the, uh, of integrating into the app was an image picker, trying to upload images that will, that will render across all devices and will render the same across all devices. Um, as for future plans, we are planning to integrate geolocation services to make it easier for the user to actually locate all of the areas that they are willing to travel to. If I'm the delivery person, all of the locations that uh, the, the items are located in. Uh, for example, I'm not willing to travel to um, beyond 20 miles. So I'll set my geolocation to a 20 mile radius and only those items will show up on, on my screen. Um, we're also planning on adding filtering options uh, to filter out all of the items that we have, all of the locations. We may also add um, filtering options for the drivers. Uh, if we prefer a paid driver or it's all going to be volunteer based drivers. And now I open it up for any questions. Uh, first of all, I just want to say again, <laughs> amazing job. Your project is phenomenal, inshallah. Um, uh, one question that I have before we take questions from the audience is what did you learn from this project that's other than your technical achievements? I learned patience. Uh, I learned <laughs> that um, in tech projects, you really need to communicate well, especially since we're all working remotely. Uh, we need to write everything down. We, we need to be in constant communication with each other to actually get our vision uh, to where it is. Uh, well, I, I would like to add something if Abdullah don't like to take the mic. Hey, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, I learned that uh, if you want to do something, we can do it. If you if you do if you work hard and you search hard, at the end you will get it. Okay, okay. Uh, Abdullah, is there something you want to add? Uh, group job is really hard, so I learned how to, uh, how we can manage it and uh, GitHub helps a lot, really. Wow, that's beautiful, okay. Um, does anyone have any questions? If someone here on Zoom has a question, you can unmute and ask. I have a question, Shari, if I may. Yeah, go ahead. I will show you the team. That was that was excellent. Um, maybe my question isn't related directly to the project, but it's based on your answers. Uh, 
and maybe حتى based على what the previous team had said about GitHub. I'm just curious, من تجربتكم now taking this bootcamp remotely, but also working as a group on a coding project remotely. You basically worked as many hundreds of millions of coders are working right now around the world. How do you feel about it? Uh, was it more difficult than you expected? Do you feel like working remotely in a team as a coder is, is, is better than working physically or does it have uh, certain disadvantages that you weren't anticipating? Yeah, you can talk about and this factor. Well, uh, for me, I thought remotely was very hard. But using GitHub and uh, interacting with, uh, with it, I mean, it is amazing. Like uh, GitHub makes it much easier, and also con- contacting with with each other helps also. That's it. For me, I think um, if we were trained for uh, for a couple of hours before we tried uh, using it in our projects, maybe or or even in the bootcamp, I mean, if we were having a class especially for GitHub. That would help uh, preventing a disaster I made already. I agree with my uh, teammates. I think it was a little difficult to work remotely, but by the end of the project, I think we got the hang of it. Uh, Communication was extremely easy. We were able to work at our own schedules and um, it was just easier with GitHub. Okay, thank you, team. Great job. Amazing job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Project TNN. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. The next team who's going to present their wonderful project is going to be Nijim. Are, are you guys ready? We are ready. Which one of you is going to share your screen and get started? Uh, it's still sharing. It uh, looks like it's going to be a bit slow. Okay, we can see your screen now. So let's do it, Najim, B, Najim team. Let's do it. It's short time. Hello, everyone. I'm Dalal Hamadi. I'm Abdul Rahman Dasiri. وانا يوسف بناشي. As a beloved mom, I believe that every mom and dad around the world dream to raise, raise and great, a great children, prepare them to be success people, let them believe in their selves, believe that dreams can come to them. Teach them to be responsible and independent. Dream that our children being a good behavior, doing their homeworks, do their beds, pray on time, all that by themselves. To reach that dream, parents should teach their kids to have responsibilities by giving them tasks, follow up and motivate them. So, Najim, is an app helps parents to motivate their kids to complete their task in a new and exciting way. Abdurrahman will explain the problems. Uh, uh, the problems are uh, that parents hard, it is hard to organize more than one kid's schedule uh, scheduled and uh the same time and parents may have many kids and it's hard to follow up with them uh, and kids have to ask many uh time to get what uh, they want 
uh, not all kids can be easily motivated. So the solution uh, for the, these problems that parents can uh, set some tasks from anywhere and parents can follow up with uh, all uh, their kids in one place and can set some goals for uh, his kids. So kids can mark uh, their uh, finished tasks and can get motivated, uh, motivated by uh, earning points for each done tasks uh, and get rewarded with reaching the, the set goals. خلي المايك عند دلال الحين تشرح البرنامج. نجم has two users, parent user and kid user. As a parent, I can adding my kids and manage them profile, adding task, adding goals. As a kid user, they can see all them task and goals that set by their parents. Now. Lulwa will explain more. Uh, Lulwa, I think you're still muted. Do you still see my screen? Yes. So uh, now I will talk about the uh, parent. Uh, as, as Dalal said, uh, that there is two users, the parent user and the kid user. Uh, I will uh, talk about the first one, the parent user. So when the, when, the, when the parents log into his account, of course, the profile page will be shown for him and uh, he can edit his profile. And the most important part in the profile page is the kids uh, list his children uh, to monitor. Uh, so the parents created the, the sign up for the kids. He will create a profile. And now if we press on Yusuf, uh, we will see the total points that Yusuf had. Uh, and there is in, uh, in each uh, detail page, there is two parts. The, the first one is the task. The second is the goal. Now I will talk about the goal. There is an achieved goal uh, that I have uh, to get the total points to achieve it and an achieved, uh, an achieved goal. I can have many as I can, but they will not go. Uh, and now we will move to the ta uh, task list. There's two uh, task lists, to do task list and done task list. Uh, done task list is the one that is marked by the kids. Like I have to approve it. Uh, if I want to press on it, uh, look, if I press on it now, the total point will be will change. Uh, Just one second, please. Uh, look. video. Presentation. Yeah, the presentation. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hello. Um. I will change my screen. Alhain, okay? Yes. Uh, okay, I will my, what I said. Uh, I will talk about the parents' profile page. Uh, the parents' profile page, when he entered, sign in, uh, the parents uh, can, uh, can edit his profile. Uh, and the most important part in the page is the child list. Uh, so the parents will sign up and create uh, the kids' accounts. Uh, just to be connected. And now if we press on one of the kids, for example, Yusuf, we will have his detail page. And uh, at the top, we will have his total points. Uh, basically, the, the page uh, consists of tasks and goals. Uh, when we see the, go uh, the goals, there's two lists also, unachieved goals uh, and achieved goals. Achieved goals will not be deleted, even if he's achieved just to give him the motivation uh, to achieve more goals. And now if we will move to the task list, we will have to do task list uh, that is not marked, that's done by the, by the child and done task list. There is an important note that all task points in the done task list are bending until the bench approve it. 
So let's approve this, see what's happened, to see what's happened. If I approve it, uh, just look at the total point is 190 now. It will change. And the, 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 uh, one of the goals, uh, it was an unachieved goal. Uh, it was, I think, the smart TV. Yes, the smart TV. It's, it's moved uh, from the unachieved to an, uh, the achieved goals. So this is the profile page uh, we, uh, for the parents. We tried to make it simple. And now Yusuf will explain the, the user page uh, of the kids. Just make sure that I will change the screen. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is the kid profile or the kid uh, accounts. You can see the task that he uh, set by his. Uh, can you uh, pause the record, best, uh, uh, A task that he set by his parents, for example, uh, prayer, fajr, and each task. Uh, if he, there is a point for each task if he's done it. Okay. Uh, okay, you can play now. Here, as you see, there is a 70, he ranked already 70 points. And the goal that he want to achieve, for example, the unachieved goals, the smart TV, he have to arrange 200 points, for example, the achieved one that he uh, achieved before. Uh, he can also mark, uh, for example, he can check the task if he done it already. Okay, it will shift to the done task list. Okay, and he will wait uh, for his parent to approve that he done this task to erase uh, the points. Uh, as you see, it's very simple for the kid. Uh, he can get motivated and uh, to uh, erase this goal that he wants. That's it. Now we will shift to Abdurrahman. Uh, Abdurrahman, inshallah, we'll talk about the future plans. Just for a moment. Just one moment. Just let me. Sorry, but I I close it by mistake. Uh, our point. So I will open it now. So we stopped. Okay. 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 Futures, uh, future plans. Uh, any, uh, we would like to add a location tracking system so the parents can track their uh, their kids using Najm, and adding a wallet uh, for the kid uh, and the parent. So they can uh, transfer money from the uh, parent uh, wallet to the kid wallet to buy uh, any uh, goals or anything. And adding an images to, to the goal list and adding a wish list for the kid. Uh, that's it. Thank you. If anyone have question, uh, we'll be happy to answer. يعطيكم العافية وايد حلو الابلكيشن ان شاء الله الله يعطيكم yeah nice work the application looks amazing ما شاء الله um 
I want to ask you guys a hint before we take questions from the audience. What, what did you learn most out of this project other than the t technical side of things? Uh, we learned uh, that uh, we can connect to users. This is why it can be difficult for us to show the user to enter and enter another user. So it will be connected. So this was the challenge for us. We learned a lot of things. Okay, thank you. 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 خاصة when you work with a team, يعني you have to manage with them. You have to note everything that you already يعني يعني work on. يعني it was يعني wide wide صعب بس الحمد لله يعني we managed it. بالنسبة لي اللي تعلمنا أنا ويوسف ولولوا بدينا بالكود من الصفر أن نسوي تطبيق مثل هذا هذا إنجاز كبير بالنسبة لنا يعني شيء وايد عظيم أن نسوي تطبيق مثل هذا يمكن في أحد يشوفه سمبل بس هو بالنسبة لنا أبدا يعني مو سمبل وإنجاز كبير ونفتخر فيه صراحة ويعطيهم العافية كودد على تعليمهم لنا أنا أتفق مع اللي معاي صراحة، أه... وكل شيء كان تيم ورك والله، مع إني أنا ما اشتغلت تقريبا أربعة أيام كان عندي خلل بالكمبيوتر، بس كان الوضع شوي صعب، بس عدت الحمد لله، يعطيكم العافية. يعطيكم العافية والله، أوكي، um, okay. that was wonderful. We'll take questions again from the audience if you guys have any. So we had a question that said, which programming languages was used in this application? Yes, I answered this JavaScript. Yeah, so it, uh, the, the applications use JavaScript, uh, Express on the back end, and React Native on the front end to produce the mobile application. Does anyone else have any questions here on Zoom? يعطيكم okay. العافية تيم نجم، أميزنج أميزنج جوب. الله يعافيك. تمام، يعطيكم العافية. مشاري معليش بس عندي سؤال. تفضل هيا. سؤال عام للجميع، ما نعرف كم المدة اللي سووا فيها التطبيقات هذه لأن. امم، أوكي. البروجيكت هذا فترته كانت أسبوعين ونص كانت. أسبوعين ونص. It was part time though, Mohammed. It wasn't full time. So four hours a day. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. And him, the last team to present their project, Mentorly. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'll share my screen. Mobile uh, Ahtad Deen. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the application of the project. We finished the full stack so we can do it. The application or the system is called Mentorly. Mentorly is created by mentors. Uh, why, are, why is the team called Mentors? Mentors is, uh, we are three mentors from three different tracks. Uh, Amar is the iOS instructor. Uh, Rahaf is the web TA or uh, Android, and, uh, Android and web TA. Uh, we are, th we, uh, three of us were uh, mentors at Kuwait Codes. الكويت تبرمج كانت عبارة عن كانت عبارة عن اسمها بروجرام ذات تيجس طلبة الثانوية البرمجة من الصفر في الثلاث مسارات هذه وحتى بعدين انتقلنا ان نعلم طلبة الجامعة البرمجة ف 
الكويت تبرمج كان عندها سيستم وايد كبير وايد طويل من البدايه من اول ما الطالب يقدم لين الطالب يخلص ف وي كولابريت فروم ثري ديفرنت تراكس بس علشان ان احنا نسوي هذا الابلكيشن الكويت تبرمج اول شيء تبلش فيه الادمنستريشن اول شيء الطالب يسجل ويعني اقوم ما يسجل اند جيت اكسبتد يروح يسوي هيز تاسك على حسب المسار اللي هو كان فيه وبعدين نقعد نشوف الاتندنس اللي صار خلال الليكتشرز واقوم ما اخلص التاسك اوكي ديد هي دو ذا هوم ورك ديد هي دو ذا ليكتشرز ديد هي اتند ديد هي دو اخر شيء وصل له انه انالايزنج ذا بروجرس اللي صار واحده من الاشياء اللي دائما تصير مو دائما مو بس بيني انا وعمر ولكن في واحده منهم وايد تخطر البال اللي هي لما مرة عمر سألني كم طالب سلم من الاندرويد الهوم وورك وهذا كله وانا قاعد اسأل فيني اوكي لحظة أه راح اتأكد لك بس عطني ثانية واحدة وبعد ساعتين اروح اشوف شيت ايش طولها يعني لو تشوفونها يمكن تخترعون أه شيت الكويت تبرمج اللي حتى تبين لكم ان اللون الاخضر اندرويد واللون شو اسمه البرتغالي اي او اس وهذا كله واروح اقعد اعدهم واروح اشوف ها سلم ما سلم فاير ولا صح ولا كذي واخر شيء اروح ارد على حق عمر واقول له والله كنا 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 24 مو متاكده فالسيستم كامل بس علشان يختصر لي هذه هذه الشيت الطويله اللي كانت تجمع الكل في مكان واحد ان احنا نبي نفرقهم فني نشوف الاوت لاين اللي راح نمشي عليه اليوم راح اول شيء نتناقش شنو هي الفكره ليش فكرنا في انه ليش آه هو يكون اسمه منتر لي آه شنو الفكره اللي قاعد فيه مصوبه وات از ذا بروبلم ذات وير تراين تو سولف اصلا مو بس for Kuwait codes for any system that follows uh, that has the relation between students and mentors. And what are the benefits of having mentally specifically than any other platform? ورح نشوف الدمو مع بعض. And we will discuss the technical achievements and obstacles اللي راح كانوا موجودين. And we will see the future plans اللي ما ما دهمنا الوقت إن إحنا نسويهم. And of course we will always have time for questions. Uh, أول شيء نبلش في منتلي. منتلي as we said is a full system um, based for now حق Kuwait codes because they uh, they gave uh, they gave us the data وإحنا مش نقدر نشوفها uh, and we test based on this data. Uh, Kuwait codes كان عندهم a lot of uh, a lot of platforms. The platforms يعني uh, كانت تجمع بين أكثر من شيء. Uh, Google Slides, Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google Docs, and then I get help, and then I will learn much like a video out, and then I know what I need to do tasks, and then a type form that can always follow by says don't fear how, and then a Discord that we communicate with students. For us, the system, even when we go and see the current system, it's not a way of taking it. With the system, wide, jabbar, way to organize everything, and we we know where everything is placed. But if we are going to a new day, we will not know how to describe everything and how to follow up with it. فني الحين حق منتر لي البنفيتس اللي راح نقدر نستفيد منها تراكينج ذا بروجرس اللي كانت موجوده ذات واز ايفري وير و ايفري ثينج از ون ون بلاتفورم لايك وي وود سي ان ذا ديمو اند اول ذا داتا ويل بي سنترايز اي ويل اونلي سي ذا داتا ذات يعني اي ريلي ونت مي از اندرويد اي ونت تو سي ذا اندرويد ستودنتس راح از ويب ويل اونلي سي ذا ويب ستودنتس اند ويب ويب تاسكس اند اند سو اون ذا سيستم Will benefit uh, three stakeholders: students, mentors, and mentors. Mungkin ikonon TAs, mungkin ikonon instructors, mungkin ikonon muraqabin, wajihin. It can follow any school system. Actually, it will also have an operation team. Uh, for now, I think uh, you heard from me a lot. I think it's time to see the project. Uh, Rahaf will show you the great system <laughs> from a point of view. Um, I will start with the mentor dashboard or the mentor view. I will log in as a mentor. Once I log in, I can view my profile. So as you can see from this page, I can edit my information that will be displayed to students. Uh, and then let's say I can go to the student list. I will view all of the students assigned to my track only. So I don't get distracted by the number of students. We have one student At this point, I only see the students assigned to my track. I, uh, I am a web mentor, so I only see web students. Uh, also from this page, I can, uh, I can grade their work. I have a few tasks that I've assigned to them. Let's say I want to, I want to grade Hussein Sheriff. I have a task called uh, Rahaf's Evil Challenge. Let me say that he did that task. As you can see, something changed. Uh, the, average course, uh, the average course score and the average now required score. 
So should, what's the difference between those scores? Uh, we have something called average course score, which is the course uh, score now, right now, that the thing that we, that we want. But the average now required gives you all of the tasks, even th that are not due. So let's say I make a task in the future, maybe one month later, and that uh, student did that task. So that's why it calculates it. So I can know that this student is super and maybe I could give them more attention or maybe even more tasks so they can improve themselves. Um, so let's go ahead to the dashboard. We can see a few graphs that tells us a little bit more about the purpose that's happening. We can see that we gave one out of five lectures and I have five students. We have given them, uh, we have assigned two classwork and six homeworks. We can see a simple graph of attendance that shows us how attendance is going in classes. Then we can see two simple graphs, one for classwork and one for homework. We can view their progress for those uh, tasks. Then we can view the leaderboard that has all of the students and their classifications. So what is classification? Classification <laughs> is if a student... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> what I do. I kill them, kill them, inshallah, shatah. Outstanding. That's, that's not reasonable. <laughs> but let's, let's just see how does this work. Classification, if a student gets more than uh, 100 for its required progress, that student is outstanding. If I can aqal, be goli label thani. So let's say, مثلاً, um, I want to play with Hussein results. لا, لا, سقطي أنس. لا, okay, yeah, no. Um, by the way, it only it only calculates a required task. A task in Alaha Najma here required. A task multi, it's evil, but it's not required. So let me just uh, cancel all of his work. Okay, now if you go to dashboard, you will see that NS because we it depends on the number of tasks that we are giving. It says that he needs attention. He's doing fine. Not outstanding, but he's doing fine. So let's go with a task. Let's assign, uh, let's create a new task right now. Let me call it um, final task. Final task, I will I will set the due date as 23 and the time I because Saatnash Diga. I be at the weight of 10 over Gul and Hada required. I will give it a type uh, of. I have Khali, 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 I will times. I shan't yet be required. I can make it to uh, I can make it to I can make it to So let's add that task. It's called final task. And if we go to students, we will see that final task is there. And I can grade based on that task. Once I do, you can see both scores uh, are changing because it's, يعني, it's past two. كانت تسليمها أمس فراح يحسب حق both scores لكن لو كان تسليمها بالمستقبل راح يحسب حق واحدة منهم so I can identify or classify students in a better way so if we go back to task I will delete that task because I feel it's safe in quality يعني قاعد حسن عبت بالحسب شوي so then uh, what we can do as a mentor I can add few lectures let me let me add something called final lecture so I can add final day let's say I will make it as مثلا 29 أبي يكون الساعة 12 إحنا وقاتنا شوية عشوائية Okay so I'll make it at 12 uh, from, from this page I can access that page and this is, this is the, same, uh, the same thing that students will see راح أدخل الصفحة هذي, uh, هذي I will be able to add material for this specific lecture So let's say I can add مثلا uh, classwork and the classwork is مثلاً, any link. So I can see all of my classwork or, or all of the material I've assigned to that specific lecture. Uh, let me go to one that has material already. I can view all the material. So as a student, if I come to this page, I can know what, 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 can I, what do I have. As a mentor, I can add new material and new lectures. And um, that's it from the mentor view. Let me, let's go to student view with Amar. I think I was muted. Okay. So we've seen, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So we've seen the mentors view where a mentor can sign in there. Uh, let's sign in as um, 
a student now, I'll choose Retouch. And um, we're gonna sign in. So it's basically a single sign-in page that redirects you to different permissions or different pages based on your group. So now as a student, um, you can see your own progress in class. I've got the required course progress is the required tasks that ha that's first of all required plus طاف عليها the due date. يعني مثلاً كان التاسك أول تمس بس أنا ممكن أحط تاسكات على الكورس كله فما راح ينحسب على required. But this is my course of progress. So by the end of the course, if I achieve and accomplish everything, the both of them are going to be hundred percent. Uh, and it's going to tell me how many classwork I have submitted and how many homework. طبعا هني, uh, we can change the bio and upload a new pictures uh, And we can see the lectures that was assigned to my track. Um, uh, lecture um, I can't add as a student. I can only view. Uh, and this I can also see the mentors that are assigned to my track, and I can see their office hours if they are available or not. Um, so it's me here. I'll be there. I'll be always there for them. Um, the door is only available for text to Al-Akhira. And I can click on their profile if I need any further information. Uh, and as you know, here we have the tasks and if they are required or not, and how much weight do they have. فهني عندنا type مالتها classwork, homework, ماري شاي بالصفر هني بالموضوع. وآخر شيء طبعا, you can see the calendar uh, where all the tasks, homeworks, lectures um, are shown in one place. And you can see شنو هي الأشياء اللي مطلوبة منك in different views and a list of كل الأشياء اللي upcoming. Uh, there is one more thing in the mentor. If I sign up as Rahaf al Hain, I'd code KW. Um, if I go to a student, I can write a note on them. Mari, my mother, Sarah, the Rahaf Shrahat, the shade. Did you explain that? Mari, my mother. No, I said. You didn't? Okay, so let's no. do it. So now we can we can add a note as mentors, and that note can only be shown for mentors. communication between mentors to mentors. This this note is not going to be shown for the student. For example, here Rahaf would say, "Amazing work." I would say, "Method possible TA." So it's kind of chat, but it's not chat. It's comments about uh, that specific student. If there was any observation, so here I would say, "Method, she is a good candidate to become a future." TA. Um, but I can delete my own comments. I can delete others' comments. Um, so that's that's mentally. Um, you can have different modes. Um, you can dark mode, light mode. If nasal uh, light mode, my but your eyes Anyways, um, so that's for the demo. بالنسبة حق ال future plan we have a lot of the future plan إن شاء الله we're gonna deploy this on April um, so we can use it حق الكويت تبرمج إن شاء الله الفصول القادمة and as you know الكويت تبرمج إن شاء الله uh, took actually 500 students السنة الأولى um, and we're planning to take a thousand students for the next year so if we don't have a scalable and sustainable system we're gonna have a lot of operation people that we need to hire and we don't wanna hire operational people because إحنا الكويت تبرمج فإذا إحنا ما برمجنا شغلنا منو راح يسوي لنا شغلنا فلازم we automate everything going on. ف first of all we're gonna assign TAs to student بحيث إن TA طالع فقط الطلبة اللي هو assigned to مثل ما أنتم عارفين مثلا مشاري عنده مجموعة من الطلبة ليلى عندها مجموعة من الطلبة نبي كل واحد يركز على طلبته on specific time وبعدها يصير في swapping بس الطلبة راح تشوفونهم هم طلبتكم. Um, ف that one feature we wanna add. Uh, we want to add GitHub uh, integration with GitHub Actions. بحيث إن شغلنا كله محطوط حق ب GitHub. Uh, فالطالب راح يقدر يسوي سبمت حق الهومورك. And once they submit and push the code, uh, GitHub راح يوصل لنا notification إن هذا الطالب submitted. And we can grade their work immediately. بدل لا أنا تبع مع الطالب ها خلص الهومورك خلص الكلاس ورك إلى آخره. Uh, third, uh, okay, let, let's talk about Discord integration. We want to do a Discord bot. لما الطالب يدش ديسكورد ما ياخذ رول الا لما يكون عنده اكونت يكون اساين تو اتراك فالبوت راح يعطي التراك او الرول ماله على حسب الجروب اللي هو مسجل فيه فما اقعد اطق على واحد واحد اليوم فواز بعد عانى بنفس المشكله هذه عنده سكيورتي ورك شوب نكست ساتردي فقاعد يدش على طالب طالب ويعطيه رول 
but we're going to fix that inshallah with using uh, discord but um, we're going to integrate with zoom بحيث ان الطالب ما له داعي يكون عند زوم او كل مره يدش ديسكورد وين الزوم لينك وما ادري شنو the zoom link is going to be on our website so you go to the website you see the video شغال بس تطق بلاي فيصير الزوم on the website itself ما له داعي لينكات and it's going to take attendance immediately فما له داعي انا اشوف منو حضر ومنو ما حضر دايركتلي اخذ الاتندنس من زوم واقطع عندنا بالريبورت Uh, and that's absence, absence tracking بحيث ان الطالب اذا غاب مثلا اربع محاضرات يدز له وورنينج ان ترى انت باقي لك محاضرتين مثلا um, ويتسجل عليك مثلا الانذار الاول على حسب ما الاوبريشنز يحطونها واخر شيء وي كان انتجريت اور ميرج وذ برمج بحيث ان برمج حاليا هي المنصه اللي قاعدين نستعملها حق الكويت تبرمج بحيث ان الطالب يطالعون فيها الفيديوهات فوي وان انتجريت ذات بحيث ان الطالب يطالع الفيديوهات بمكان واحد والسبمشنز كلها يكون بمكان واحد طبعا راح نحتاج انه يكون في اي اس ابلكيشن وفي ويب ابلكيشنز تو انتجريت ايفري ثينج توجذر بالنسبه حق التكنيكال اتشيفمنتس ذا ذا موست كومبلكس ثينج از ذا كومبلكس ريليشن شيبس اند بيرميشنز اللي uh, قاعدنا نشتغل عليها بيكوز يو سي وي هاف ا ستودنت وي هاف ان اوبس وي هاف ادمنز وي هاف منتورز وكل واحد قاعد يستعمل ذا سيم اكزاكت بلاتفورم وذا سيم موديل لكن وذ ديفرنت بيرميشنز ذا سكند ثينج از بروجريس تراكينج اند جرافس شلون طريقه الحسبه وشلون Uh, نحسب الـ required score و non required score وشلون نقدر نطلع الطلبة بالليدر بورد. The third, things, third thing is the libraries or frameworks and the architecture we used. We use Redux للأسف uh, because we use the material UI template um, uh, and it, it, it has like that architecture اللي يعطينا uh, طريقة استعمال Redux مع فورمك ف it was kind of yeah that's that That what was the technical obstacles. It was actually uh, Redux, if, 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 I, if I want to say anything about technical obstacles. Um, so what have we worked on? It was backend, relationships, the front end. It's a single website and deployment. It's deployed actually now. Uh, you can check it out. Um, I think that's it. Just need the password, Rahaf, to check it out. There's another one, I don't know. All right, sure. Uh, you can check it out in mentally.netlify.app. Um, so, yeah, that's mentally. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I'll give you a good time. It was something very good, very good, very good. Amazing job, guys. I've heard a rumor that uh, the website was hacked, though. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's true or not. The problem is that source code. Well, the problem is. <تصفيق> انا عندي سؤال يمكن يكون هارش يعني بالسؤال بس سؤال واحد طبعا وات ميكس يور ويب سايت ديفرنت ذان انذر ليرنينج انفايرمنت لايك بلاك بورد يا ذاتس ا جود كويستشن بلاك بورد از نوت اور سيستم اند تو كاستمايز ات وي هاف تو اد ا لوت اوف ستف وليمتد ستف ذاتس واي ان ذيس سلايد وي اكشلي هاف ا سيستم ومثل ما قالت موفي اتس ا وركينج سيستم ونقدر نستعمل جوجل كلاس روم وراح يسهلنا وايد اشياء. بس وي اكشلي كيم اب ان ثري اتريشنز ان ثري كوهورتس ان ذا باست يير اند وي فيجرد اوت ذات اتس تايم تو دو اور اون سيستم بيكوز ذيس از جونا سكيل اند وي كان ديبند اون مودل او بلاك بورد او سكولوجي. وي ترايد ا لوت اوف ستف اند اي بيرسونلي ترايد ا لوت اوف ستف ذير. فاعتقد ان اتس تايم تو put all of those processes together من ناحية admissions, من ناحية forms, من ناحية integrating with Zoom, uh, من ناحية sheets, من ناحية graphs وإلى آخره. Um, they should be customized um, حق حق الكويت تبرمج and any other program. I have a question, please. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, now you are grading the students based on the fulfilling the task, right? If you just fulfill yeah. or, or not. So there is no score. There is actually a score in the back end. بحيث ان احنا بالفرونت اند when we fulfill the, the task, I send a score of one. Uh, but in the future, when you maybe هذا كان بنا, if you hover on that, it's going to give you a pop up or two top box. بحيث ان you choose which kind of uh, grade is it? Is it uh, with a bonus? Is it, is it with a star? Or الى اخره. But it's actually there in the back end. You can, so, you can customize it. So mm. from, from front end, you, you, don't, you cannot enter a grade for that students. For that task? No, Halin la, Halin la. Okay. Halin is done so, and done. So the graphs are based on the number of tasks are fulfilled or not, right? Exactly, exactly. 
Yeah, I'm using model now for my students and um, the, the fact that I see a graph of the student scores is very useful. So if you have a scores for each task and then I have a graph and see their, uh, their performance at each uh, lab or each exam, it would be great to yep. be used. Thank you very much, it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, we have a couple of questions from YouTube. Do we have time to? Yeah, go ahead, boss. Okay. So uh, first question is, uh, what do you prefer after uh, this experiment, especially at this difficult time, uh, working individually or within a team? Yeah, I think it's a trick question. But yeah. this, is, this one for whom? For all of us? Uh, I think it's for the team, but I guess you, everyone can answer it because it's general. Okay, the team first, then I, I'll answer. <laughs> well, I hope you want to answer that question. Mm, I guess it depends on a task. Yeah, I mean, this task, I definitely prefer if it was um, uh, group work. Uh, it was very helpful in the a group. But if I did it, I would be faster. It would be faster because yeah, it doesn't need group work. Uh, so that's it, I guess. I guess I prefer both at the same time. Almona uh, coded both are good. <laughs> yeah, Asma, you want to answer that? Yeah. Well, I uh, think, yeah, I'm not bad. Yeah. Is I'm not a job, but... I'm go ahead, a... go ahead, Asma. No, you finish first, your team. Your go ahead, team. Go I think ahead. he's deflecting. He doesn't want to answer. That's why I'm telling him to answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, me or you, Amar? Go ahead, go ahead. Voila. Okay. <laughs> okay, for me, I joined the Coded to be able to program my own apps. But I ended up knowing that no way I can't do it alone. It's, it's a group work. It's a teamwork. Uh, it had, it had to be like this because you need someone to see from other perspective. You need others with other capabilities. Maybe you are good at uh, UI, but others are good at database too. Uh, others are good at system. So you need all these expertise to have a, a very efficient app. It's not only you. This is my point. Thank you. Thank you, Asma. Uh, Mark can answer because we have a couple of other questions, you know, so. All right. Um, so I prefer Salah teamwork because programming is actually a team uh, team job. Um, feature, oh God, we share a screen, but then we are progressing and we are and we are progressing and go, let's fix this bug for half an hour and we end up working for six hours, but trying to figure out what kind of bug is and improve the things. Definitely having a teammate uh, will encourage you to work more and to make sure that you impress them. Uh, no, because they are seeing everything. Uh, so let me try to fix it. It goes back and forth. It's, it's, a, it's a team player. Um, it's a team work, I mean. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, Amr. So the second question is, how did you manage to do this uh, this great job uh, especially that you have a lot of other things. So uh, managing time. Um, so we used Notion, obviously. Uh, Notion was stand up and show the things that we We have Notion and just throw them there in the done list. And uh, apparently we ended uh, up finishing all the icebox. More icebox, all the backlog. ما كنا متوقعين راح نخلص الباكلوج لأنه كان متروس uh, بس using Notion مع due dates it organized our time check out Notion جماعة right. you have to use Notion everyone should no, use Notion no, Notion is too difficult don't use it okay uh, for the third question uh, <laughs> how are you planning to share this great work and launch it uh, to the world thank you very much great ideas great UX words cannot express so when is the due the um, date? When are you going to release this? So I can still. I don't think maybe. we're going to release this before September uh, for public uh, because we have to test it. 
um, for like three iterations على الكويت تبرمج عشان we make sure that uh, this is going to sustain and this is going to be scalable uh, فما أتوقع قبل سبتمبر لما نمر على three cohorts كويت تبرمج طلبة ثانوية وطلبة الجامعة so yeah all right if any anyone else has any questions they can ask them now ما أدري عندنا أحد بيسأل شاري Well, I would like to ask my usual question of, besides the technical side, what is the most valuable thing you learned out of this project? <laughs> no? Can we do time management? I don't know what I'm saying. I think I would agree my I think Sarah got it here who are patients um, I enjoyed other people's perspective with the shit killer whole code or she I and a market with what I'm gonna so we um, teamwork I love teamwork so I have um, I think that's most plus uh, I agree with Asma and any searching We learned searching so much. Uh, a good developer knows how to search. Uh, uh, I, I learned that I should pull the code before I finish the search. <laughs> yes! I <laughs> should <laughs> to avoid conflict. Also, بعد, uh, when you put, يعني, when you have an idea, it usually takes more than you think. ما في شيء اسمه هذا يخلص في خمس دقائق. ما في شيء اسمه هذا يخلص في دقيقة. So it's like four hours and above, يعني. Yeah, هذه هذه uh, لعبتي. أقولهم هذا الباقي راح يأخذ سبع دقائق. One hour later. لا إحنا قاعد أكتب الماي. اللي تعلمنا إن أي وقت يعطينا يا عمر يقول لنا ثلاث مينات زيد عليه أربع خمس ساعات زائد الأشياء زائد البريك اللي ممكن نأخذه. Yeah. yeah, I would like صراحة to answer Hashim's question اللي uh, سأل الجروب الثاني سالفة طريقة الشغل um, uh, remotely. Uh, we live on Discord. واكتشفنا أن مستحيل إحنا نسوي هالشيء فيزيكلي. مستحيل على العدد من الفيتشرز وعلى الوقت شلون نطشر مستحيل. رقم واحد uh, you can share a screen بزوم and you can control others screen إذا حاشتنا بق. Uh, وهالشيء ما يصير بالفيزيكال uh, um, بالفيزيكال انفايرمنت ان انا اكون بطل لابتوب وبعدين اروح اغصب ادش على اللابتوب الثاني واتلخبط بس لما اركز على الشير سكرين مالتي uh, راح يكون وايد افضل وطريقه الكوميونيكيشن موجودين احنا 24 ساعه مثل ما قلنا ديسكورد ونوشن ذس كان نوت بي دان ان ا فيزيكال انفايرمنت وذ ذس تايم ليميت فيرتشوال انفايرمنت جاست جيفز اس مور باند وذ تو دو ستف ف definitely I would go with virtual and I still virtually. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Uh, would you like to answer the question I asked, Bad? Because I'm curious what you have to say. Oh, شنو تعلمت؟ تعلمت من template صراحة طريقة ال template اللي we use مال material UI is really really complicated and sophisticated. شلون they use Redux and how do they use طريقة ال route والترتيب يعني. Um, كنا قبل بس نكتب كود وي جاست شوف ذا فايلز ذير بس طريق انه تشوف كود وايد وايد جبار وتحاول تفهمه وتحاول تقلد uh, شلون هذا الشيء يصير ات جاست جيفز يو لايك منتر شيب فذاتس واي اي ريلي ريلي ريكومند انه يو سي سمونز ايلسز كود واحد واصل او واحد مسوي تمبلت um, او تشتغلون على يور اون تمبلت فوي يوزد ا ريدكس تمبلت حق الفرونت اند او ماتيريال يو اي اند وي ديفلوبد اور اون تمبلت حق الباك اند فصار في عندنا هيراركي واضح شلون نسمي الكنترولرز شلون نسمي الراوترز والى اخره فهذه المينتاليتي انكم تكونون مع خلينا نقول سينيور ديفلوبرز او تاخذون سينيور ديفلوبر كود يفتح لكم افاق شلون ترتبون الكود خاصه لما يصير البروجكت وايد كبير يو جو لايك Should I put this file in this folder or that folder? Who I put? But if you have a system, um, so we will come hierarchy or template. Jahaz, you know where you put all the files in any folder. I think using a template though is very difficult, so I wouldn't recommend anyone. You know, does it uh, out of the blue, uh, starting with yeah. it, then uh, they're just gonna get lost. That we wasted a lot of time to figure out, but I wouldn't consider wasting it. 
لان تعلمنا شلون نستعمل التمبلت ان فيري شورت بيريد اوف تايم اوكي Well, nice work, everyone. Your projects have been phenomenal. Your presentations are amazing. Your work has been just outstanding in the capstone phase. Uh, you should be proud of yourselves. This is not a small feat. Um, so just to end this, a reminder to the audience on YouTube, if you'd like to join the Full Stack Bootcamp, the admissions for the next cohort is open. Go to our website, uh, joincoda.com, and check out the details and apply. And th thank you everyone for your time. I'm, I'm grateful you joined us and you enjoyed the demos with us. And have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.